What is going on lads and welcome to my first eFootball 2023 squad builder. This is for 500,000 GP. A lot of players have had increases to their GP and to their stats. So we're going to be getting you a 500,000 GP squad builder. That's right, 500,000 in case you guys didn't hear it at the back. Now the manager we're going to be using for this one is going to be Roberto Mancini. Mancini and he is a fairly beastly manager, but he's only 38,000. He plays a 4-3-3. He's got some nice stats as well. We are going to be playing possession gameplay or else counter. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose. You can just boost up your players. So starting us off is going to be our goalkeeper. We are playing a 4-3-3, Muslera. Now all of these players have gone into quite a bit of depth in these. We are going to be seeing them over on eFootball DB in a second as well. But Muslera is a beast of a keeper, lads. He doesn't have a club in the game, so you will need to search by his nationality and by position and price. But he is an absolutely incredible player when you boost him up. Now the reflex is probably the key here. It is the key to this player um, and you can go you guys can see there you can just copy the stats down when you are simulating the training up you know get the jump to 87 get the reflexes to whatever it is there um, and he is a very good base to start us off with now next up we have DeMarco as our left back and DeMarco is 29,000 GP we've started to kind of you know a, a, a get it get a squad now that we don't want spending too much money but with DeMarco he is obviously in the Inter Milan premium pack as well as you will see here with his second edition of the cards. Now this is what I've him trained up to. Let me know for future videos if you would prefer to have the profile picture like this with the training settings actually applied or if you would prefer it like the rest of the screenshots are in the rest of the video or the rest of the clips are. So again he's got some really nice stats. He's an all-rounder left back right back kind of player full back. Lorenzo is going to take it up as well. He is going to be our right back. He can play central or he can play right midfield. So he is going to be that type of wing back player. Now, again, look at those stats, lads, that he has 75 tackling, 72 defensive awareness, 75 speed, 78 stamina. Incredible. And he is a really good player. He's got A rating as well. He plays for Napoli. And as you can see there, he has got 95 with his possession game. And of course, he's got all those stats. Now, the key for him there, lads, is that he has got 81 acceleration and 83 defensive awareness, which is going to make it really, really, really exciting to play with him, especially his aggression and tackling are so high as well. Next up, a man that needs no introduction, Timber. Unreal player, still a beast. He's not as good as he was, I think, when eFootball 22 first launched simply because I think everyone has him now and there is a lot of, you know, OP, really, really powerful center backs in the game. But this guy is, he's just got it all, man. And for 29,000 GP, you cannot go wrong. Trust me, he's unbelievable. He won't never let you down. He can play right back as well as left back. He can play DMF as well. And look at those stats, 80 defensive awareness. But this guy, there's a very specific reason why I have Timber in this squad, lads. And that is because his partner is Pepe. Now, Pepe is a very, very solid defender in the game. In fact, I've had about at least six or seven people drop comments to me saying, check out Pepe. He is an absolute rock at the back. Because they have really overpowered defensive awareness, lads, you're going to see Pepe and what he grows into here. Because you don't need to focus on his speed, you have got Timber covering the fast strikers if, you, you know, if you're having this squad. Look at his defensive stats. That's there. Unbelievable. 90, 94, 89, and really, really, really high aggression. I mean, he's going to be super, super strong in the tackle and just come away with the ball more often than not. And paired up with Timber, it's a perfect combo, keeping under budget. Speaking of the beast that is Pepe, we do have what I would consider his brother or a cousin in Barrios. Absolutely incredible player. Super, super, super defensive. Again, we are going to be training this squad very with a very key plan in mind for newcomers and for guys that are looking to have a really a good bit of fun and having a very solid team. We're going to focus on Barrios and Pepe as kind of our main rocks at the back. And when we have these guys at the back, and Barrios is going to be mopping up everything that uh, that doesn't get through to Pepe. And if Pepe, if it does get through, Pepe is going to be there. Look at his defensive awareness and his speed is quite good as well. Now, if we're going to be having a very defensive-minded team, including fullbacks and centre-backs, we do need to have a bit of flair and creativity in the centre of the park as well. Kovacic, lads, I focused on him before. He has got a little bit of an increase. He's 82,000 GP. But his stats are incredible. I think there's only two players on this whole squad that have form less than unwavering. Um, 
And Kovacic has got three form as well. But lads, look at this guy's stats. Unbelievable, as I keep saying. 85 acceleration, 90 ball control, 90 dribbling, 90 low pass, 91 balance, 90 possession game for his play style. Just buy him. He's a hidden gem for sure, I think. And speaking of hidden gems, we have Golovin. Now, I watched the PSG AS Monaco game the other day. Golovin was instrumental in that. He was just orchestrating it, man. He was like kind of Modric, how Modric plays a little bit more attacking, I would say, than Modric. But he is down as an AMF, but he can play as a CMF. We're going to play him as part of a three-man midfield. And his stats, again, are nothing to be sneezed at, lads. Unreal stats all around the board. What you want in your midfield, in my opinion, is you either want to have a very, very, very solid player um dmf such as barrios and then two flare players like you know smaller base players that are really good dribblers fast and then have two up front or else if you are going to be having wingers like we have in this squad with hudson adoy who's now gone on loan to leverkusen as far as i know you do need to have the the kind of passers in midfield and the engine men that can get around and are just jack of all trades with this squad i think you'll get a lot of joy on the wings because hudson adoy and his partner who we'll see in a second are just monsters man they're so so good again he's got that holy trinity of stats with the 90 92 and 91 for the dribbling acceleration and speed and he's also got incredible ball control his balance is a little light but we will make up for that with just his pure blister and pace and just be getting in overlaps and on the flanks next up we have doku or Daku, the right winger he can play left wing or right wing now he is on d rating right he is on d rating which is a big a big concern obviously um you're not probably going to be getting too many games out of him so there is alternatives there to him for similarly priced like etze or Eze. um but he is a beast lads this guy is well worth it he's only seventeen thousand gp i would probably argue that he's probably one of the best players in the game under twenty thousand. i would say he's top five under twenty thousand for sure like 91 uh acceleration 89 dribbling he's nearly got the perfect balance he's got a really 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 nice motion as well now, tapping, topping us off and finishing off this squad, we have got Abamyang, who is 79 overall when you don't boost him up, but we're gonna throw we're gonna make sure that Abamyang is the focal point for all our attacks. We don't have we can't have somebody too small. We need somebody that is good in the air and is really fast and can just bring in every other player into the game. Now he do has he does have two form, standard form, which is the big downgrade on this, and he does slightly push us in over the, the edge. We're about four thousand over budget from our five hundred thousand. But look, just play one or two more matches and get Alba in because he definitely is worth it, in my opinion. I think he's he's incredible so this is the final squad lads as you can see there and i think we are coming in at 504,000 gp for the final squad which again isn't too bad this is a monster squad i think you're going to have a lot of fun with it i think you'll have a lot of crack with it and let me know if any of these guys are there you know in your squad and that you're playing with them and if you uh if you don't want me highlighting these that they're hidden gems for you but uh yeah there is a lot more now we're going to be back i'm thinking of doing a 750,000 gp squad or else a 1 million gp squad um but yeah let me know what you guys would like to see obviously this is for eFootball 23 because they have changed a lot of the prices so let me know what you guys think we'll do a couple of more videos on this to help you guys out i think this squad could be beastly i will talk to you in a bit peace